Continuing to field questions here for USMLE, student asks, Mike, should I do questions from QBank in subject specific or tutor mode? Which one do you think is most effective and why? Okay, so before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends prepping for USMLE. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find us on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now how about I address the fucking question, which was about doing questions in subject specific versus tutor mode. And it goes without saying that every student's preparatory trajectory is not going to be cookie cutter. Okay? So I preface by saying that I'm making umbrella statements at best. However, I can provide value in the sense that for the overwhelming majority of students watching this, doing questions in tutor mode, untimed random, okay, is going to be most efficacious for your retention in the macro for your eventual USMLE. Now, sometimes students will carry the sentiment that they want to do questions in subject specific because they feel the temporal density of seeing the information will help them retain it better. And it is to my observation that when students do questions in subject specific, their retention is often transient and quickly fleeting, okay? It is more valuable for your macro retention, okay? For your macro retention, for your eventual USMLE, okay? Not three days from now, okay? your eventual USMLE, it is more important to see questions at more dispersed intervals, where if let's say you're doing questions in subject specific, subject specific, you get a question today on rheumatic heart disease, and then you get a very similar question two days later on rheumatic heart disease, it's much more valuable for you to see that same question three weeks from now rather than two days from now for your macro retention. Okay, so this is not, and, and I, I talk about this in some of my clips, I don't romanticize doing things a certain way just because. What I articulate is based on my observations with students over my years of teaching, okay? And it is in my view, okay, everyone's going to have different opinions, but it is in my view that doing questions in random mode, okay, seeing very dispersed bits of information, Okay, placenta previa, cystic fibrosis, rheumatic heart disease, allowing the puzzle pieces to just coalesce over time is more effective for your macro retention than subject specific, which I view as more uh, evanescent, quickly evanescent to your retention. Okay, now why tutor mode and not timed? You can do timed mode. That's perfectly fine. Okay, especially if you want to start to feel out. Uh, you know, you're pacing for the exam, that's perfectly fine. Believe it or not, you could actually do questions in tutor mode literally right up to your exam, and you'll pretty much be fine on your real deal. People tend to over uh, overemphasize the importance of uh, timing, okay, as far as doing questions in timed mode, as though that's critical for their eventual pacing on the exam, and it really doesn't matter, okay? You can do questions in uh, tutor mode, and you'll be fine on your pacing on the real deal. It's sort of a self-awareness thing. Like, have you had problems with timing in the past? If you have, it can be advantageous to do more blocks in timed mode. But I think tutor mode is most effective for your macro retention because if you get a question, you have no idea what, what, what it's asking, and then you can instantly see the explanation, you can get that instant shock value, which helps you with the retention. Okay. And also there's an element of if you do things in timed mode and you have to go back through an entire block of 40 questions, let's say, there's an increased propensity to ADHD the fuck out when you're trying to read now 40 explanations straight, okay, without more of an active engagement. So tutor mode allows for essentially you actively engage a question, then you have some reading, you actively engage a question, you have some reading. So that uh, oscillatory, that alternating uh, pattern to uh, going through material can actually help you, as I said, not ADHD the fuck out, okay? Help you stay engaged. I could make this an extended clip. I could probably just end it now, though. That's probably for the best. So 
If you like my content, you know the deal. I'm going to continue putting out more stuff. Subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.